start off by opening up the Microsoft Store. I'm going to full screen this. Hit the search button, type in Dolby Access, just like that. Should bring us to a page like this. We're going to click on the app and we're going to move over to install. Right here. And there we go, it's downloading. So we're going to let this finish and come back when it's done. Okay, it's just finished, so we can close out of this. We're going to pin it to start to help out, and we're going to just open it on the start menu. We're going to move it up here, so it's just easier, and we're going to open it from right here. Full screen that. All right, so here we go, power up your PC with Dolby Access app. Next, next, you can read through that if you want. Um, all right, we're going to go to settings. And it's going to say enable Dolby Atmos to access audio settings. So we're going to come down here. We're going to search for sound settings, the Windows one. And we're going to go over here, click on the sound control panel. Close out of this. And we're going to look for our, whatever um, our headset is. Mine's going to be a bit different to yours because uh, I have a Go XLR set up here. So it's a bit of a weird setup. But normally it would be one of the ones with the green little tick mark or the own icon like that because that's the default device so for me i'm going to do it for my game audio because this is where my um game sound goes to so we're going to go over to spatial sounds so all you have to do is just double click this go over to spatial sound drop this down the way atmosphere for headphones apply it hit okay now i'm gonna have to do this for every single one of these devices for this app to work this is only for me obviously this is because i have a different audio setup to you but you should just be able to enable it for your headset only and it should work fine. All right, now you can see that I've enabled it for all of the devices on here. The options have now shown up in the Dolby Access app. See, we can change uh, the mode that the audio is sent in. But we're going to leave that as default for now. We're just going to test out one of the uh, sample clips they have here. So let's go to Atmos Explorer or Explainer, sorry. In stereo, streams of sound are delivered through two channels. Surround now, obviously, you won't notice this on YouTube. It's only going to be in the device that I'm hearing this from. And even if YouTube did somehow get it, it would be compressed and it would not sound natural. So you want to try this for yourself, open up the clip on your PC, and then you can experience Atmos to its fullest. But yeah, that's all you have to do. It should be enabled for all the apps and games you have right now. Obviously, it's only going to be on a trial unless you buy the full version of Atmos. I think it's about 20 bucks to get the full version. Then obviously you'd have it forever, even when the trial runs out. So yeah, that's how Atmos works. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. It helps you. Otherwise, that's it for me. See you in the next one.